Hello, and thank you for joining this quick how-to video brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, be sure to hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to find authentication protocols in your email header as well as your subscriber ID, job ID, and MID when sending from the Marketing Cloud. To do this, first you'll want to send an email from the Marketing Cloud platform to any email service provider or business email account. In our case, we will use Gmail. Once you have received your email, you'll want to review the header details. To do this in Gmail, you'll open the email first, press the three dots to the right for more, then click Show Original. This will bring up a new window with the header information. I will link resources for other email service providers and other mail clients on how to find your email header information in the video description. Once your email is opened, you'll want to review for a few items. We'll start with SPF. After searching for SPF, you'll see SPF equals pass and then the domain name. In our case, it shows that SPF is passing for this email. If you see something else, such as equals fail or best guess SPF, this is still considered a failed lookup for many providers. Next, we will search for DKIM. In our example, you'll see DKIM equals pass and then the domain name within. Aside from SPF and DKIM, there is a third authentication protocol called DMARC. In our example, it shows the record is passing and provides the record policy in the header. DMARC is an optional feature that you can request with the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We can provide a basic record for your SAP setup, which will be linked in the case description. But we highly recommend creating your own record or working with the third party to create a record custom fit for your environment. Keep in mind, DMARC requires SPF and DKIM compliance. If SPF, DKIM, or DMARC fails within your email header, this may indicate that either you do not have the records present on your DNS, or they could be malformed. TLS is also included on all SFMC IP addresses. If you search TLS, you should see something along the lines of this. Here you can see what version of TLS is passing. If you notice that TLS is missing from your email send, please contact support with a case to review. On a last note, you can determine what subscriber ID you sent to, what job ID was generated for that send, and what MID you sent from in the email header information. To do this, let's search bounce. In the email header before the dash zero at bounce, you'll see three numbers. In order, this is your subscriber ID, job ID, and MID used in this send. And that wraps up checking for your authentication protocols and reviewing for additional information, such as your subscriber ID, job ID, and MID for a marketing cloud send. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce Help Portal, where you can find great resources, including communities, documentation, trails, or you can contact support. Happy trailblazing!